And they're beautiful Cancerians. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, your reading. We're going to see what energy comes through for you. Got the new moon in Cancer. I was uh, just sitting here before your reading and really feeling like there's going to be some big shifts for you coming. Oh, some of you may already be feeling a shift in the energy maybe releasing things uh, or letting go of things in your life that you just feel don't serve you anymore you know can be friendships can even be love partners um, or just you know really moving away for those from those things that you just don't feel bring uh, happiness or peace into your life so with that let's get started let's see what's coming through here what does cancer need to know all right okay we got society here say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result so cancer this is really just telling you to like be social like get out there you know don't say no to uh, any parties or things that you are invited to we also have here wisdom to focus on the past is to lose the future heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on okay so there may be something from your past maybe you're still thinking a lot about it or you're you know you're trying to move on okay there may be somebody around you who is going to help you but you know wisdom really talks about that experience um, and the wisdom that you have gained from your past to help you move forward you got commitment a commitment is indicated around love or business it will make you feel better oh wow cancer i feel like you're going to be meeting somebody you're going to be meeting somebody i feel at some sort of social event or networking event now it can be as it said work related too so there may be some sort of new opportunity Oh my gosh, look at this. Manifestations. A bountiful time awaits for you. Your wishes, your wishes could manifest, oh my gosh, right before your eyes. Beautiful, beautiful energy there, Cancer. All right. Let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what else comes through here for you. You know what I feel like? I feel like I need a card here. <laughs> Let's let's see what else comes through i'm going to pull um one of these kipper cards what else does cancer need to know what else does cancer okay oh i'm hesitant to pull three cards there we want one thank you spirit what else does cancer need to know oh look at that thoughts cancer Somebody important is coming into your life. We got official person and we have thoughts. Someone is really thinking about you. We got number 22. Some of you may see repeating twos. We got 16. Okay. One in six is seven. 16 may be important to you. Some of you may have a birthday on the 22nd or the 16th or the person you're dealing with. I'm feeling here, I know, happy birthday. It's still birthday month for Cancerians. I, I'm actually, my birthday's on the 16th, and I remember last year there was quite a few of you that also had a birthday on the 16th. All right, let's see what else comes through for you. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with Cancer? Somebody important is coming into your life, Cancer. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what comes through. Oh my gosh, didn't I say <laughs> cancer? Your first cup, the ace of cups. Oh my gosh. We also have your temperance. You're coming into union just with those two cards it shows me. You're coming into union here with somebody. What else do we have here? Now we do have a five of wands and we also have a double. You also have the nine of wands, queen of wands. I'm going to show you bottom of the deck here we have the empress and look at that king of swords all right and also you have here the princess of pentacles which is the page of pentacles energy 
Yeah, there's some sort of new opportunity that is coming into your life, Cancer. Now, you do have the Ace of Cups, and you also have here the Nine of Wands. I feel like really this energy, Cancer, is saying don't give up on love. All right. Some of you may feel frustrated and it could be around a past situation that maybe you've had a hard time letting go. We talked about that with the wisdom card. So let's clarify this uh, nine of wands. OK, now it could also tell me there it could be an energy around you who doesn't want to give up. OK, or maybe is um, trying to kind of hold you back maybe could be a fire sign in Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius tell me more you know I'm seeing these wolves here okay it could be somebody around you that doesn't have good intentions but tell me more about this nine of wands tell me more about this nine of wands but it's a card of perseverance okay the wolves don't necessarily but that's what I'm you know mean um bad intentions but that's what i'm channeling here tell me more about this nine of wands okay judgment yeah i talked about that the past here judgment and the queen of swords okay and it re really goes with what i said i feel like the initial message i had was don't give up on love okay protect yourself as this queen of swords use that wisdom from the past because a judgment can talk about right really looking a back at the past what did it all mean what did i learn what went well what didn't go well okay cancer so i feel like some of you may just feel frustrated and in love or some of you it may be around a particular person or just feeling like you know the right one hasn't come in and i feel like they're just saying don't give up on love right no matter no matter what you're going to get through this and the Queen of Swords here, I feel like this is really about you protecting yourself and, and using that wisdom from the past because there, this there's an offer here. The universe is bringing you an offer. And the Ace of Cups talks about you've been patient, okay? Maybe frustrated, but it's also saying you need patience, okay? You need patience because something very nice, I feel here, is coming in for you. Now, your next two cards, you do have Temperance and you also have the Queen of Wands, okay? I feel like this could be you, Cancer. It could also be somebody coming in for you, but very attractive energy. This shows me you're coming into union here with someone with Temperance. Another card of Patience, Tell me more about the temperance. Tell me more about the temperance. Okay, we got the seven of swords. Oh, look at that. Look at this, two of cups. And you also have here the ace of cups. Now, the seven of swords, I don't necessarily feel like... Um, Mm, cancer, maybe. Okay, some of you could, there could be a Capricorn around you. Someone strategically is coming your way. Let's see what's below. Six of Pentacles. Oh boy, Cancer. You got the Devil card here two times. Cancer. Oh my gosh. Unless cancer, you're overthinking a situation. You got the seven of swords, the two of cups, and the ace of cups. Okay. Making sense now. A lot of you may be single here in this queen of wands energy. Um, I feel like I also see the seven of swords as kind of moving on from um, a relationship. So some of you may be moving on from a relationship, but you're kind of still looking back. And that's kind of what I talked about here. For a moment, I got a little worried because I thought uh, the Ace of Cups could be somebody from the past. But I feel like this is you kind of moving on from um, a situation, but you're still thinking about it, you know, and two of cups some of you may still have feelings for someone but others it's it's just you're moving on to the perfect partner here with the ace of cups a new offer here is what i'm really feeling okay preparing for union 
now you do have the five of wands see i see this inner struggle for some of you five of wands and the empress but it could also tell me there's competition so i'm going to clarify this five of wands tell me more about so you know what's interesting you see um i think these are I don't know lilies or daffodils here okay they look like daffodils like white daffodils but there's a path you can see there's a path to peace but it's almost like you know these wands are all around this person okay some of you may have been dealing with some sort of drama or there are people around you causing drama okay but you're it's like you're finding your own path right now and with the empress okay your energy is very nice it's an energy of abundance and manifesting okay here with manifestations so you know i also get here i feel like your angels are protecting you i get that energy as well with this empress right now because either you're having an internal struggle or there is some sort of drama around you okay and it could be people around you uh, are causing drama remember i said in the beginning of the reading with the new moon and cancer i feel like there's some big shifts happening and you may be letting go you know of people around you that are causing drama tell me more about this five of wands okay look at that the four of cups and there's the ace of cups there and you also have here justice okay so that's what i'm sensing here cancer i feel like there's this new love opportunity coming towards you and i do get a sense of hesitation so i feel like there could have been some drama around you or just a situation that you are still struggling with where you you may feel like somebody here did not treat you right okay and that could be with the double energy that could be that energy of you kind of overthinking this or still thinking about a situation And just know with that energy, right, this could hold you back from your manifestation because I see the birth of something new happening for you. Now, I still get this person thinking about you, which is interesting, and I'm going to ask who that person is. Tell me more about this Empress energy. Oh my gosh, look at that. You got King of Swords here, and we have two kings here. Okay, this is an indication, Cancer. I feel like there's two energies. We've been picking up two energies for a while now. Four of Cups, right? New love energy, but there's also three cups there. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and uh, the King of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini strong libra i'm getting here as well but king of swords is twice okay and we also have here the four of pentacles so cancer this could be the struggle okay some of you may be having a hard time um letting go of a situation but at the same token There's this devil energy, okay, and it may just be symbolic of thinking about a situation and still holding on to it, but I'm also getting here two, two energies here, and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. I feel like there's going to be a choice for you in love, so in a moment, I'm going to clarify this king of swords and this king of pentacles but i want to go to the see the king of swords and you also have here the devil see i almost feel like this king of swords here too is kind of you know you have the queen of swords here as well two people i feel like maybe are detached from each other right now so there may be somebody on your mind that you feel um like you and this person are detached from each other at the moment, okay? And you may even feel like this person is being cold. But let's clarify who this uh, this thinking person is. 
Why is thoughts here? Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more about thoughts. Oh, look who showed up, the Queen of Wands. Oh, it's the person you're coming into union with because, look, you have temperance and you also have the Queen of Wands there. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this is a new opportunity coming your way, okay? So it may be an acquaintance, Okay, now I'm going to say it could be somebody you already met at a party, but somehow the two of you are going to come together in some so social event. The Sun card and the Page of Pentacles. There's, um, this is a new opportunity, I feel. Okay, somebody important who's coming into your life could lead to commitment. Now, like I said, there's two kings here. Let's, um... I think I'm going to use a different deck to clarify the kings. Let's use the Kipper deck. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Okay. So definitely this King of Swords is somebody very, very analytical, somebody very intelligent. Um, you know, this can talk about um, an honest person, truthful here, okay? You do have uh, toil and labor. You have privilege, lady, and you have courtship. Okay, see, I feel like this is the newer energy. This is someone coming towards you, wanting to date you, wanting to court you, seeing you in this empress energy and toil and labor. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, it could be somebody you work with or could be in your work environment or you and theirs. Uh, you know, some of you could go to a networking or work function and meet this person, but it can be, you know, a social fun thing too. It doesn't have to be through work. But what it also tells me is this person's going to put in the effort. Okay, is uh, what I'm getting here. Now, I'm also feeling here too with this Four of Pentacles because I do see kind of uh, two energies here. The Four of Pentacles can also tell me like you um, may start to kind of look at these two people in a practical way. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Tell me more about the King. Oh, look at, look what flew out, the thief. Bottom of the deck here, you also have your gift, okay? What this tells me is this is somebody who, the thief and gift tells me this is somebody who doesn't give. This is someone you have dealt with, okay? And that's what I'm saying. I feel two energies here. So this may be the person on your mind here that you've had a hard time letting go because this person took from you. They didn't give, Okay, but I see this new energy coming in for you, Cancer. Wow, what else does Cancer need to know about this? What does Cancer need to know about this? The situation moving forward. Yeah. It's going to be your judgment call. Okay, look at that. We got occupation and we also have here pathway and you have community. Another confirmation counselor that somebody is coming into your life. And again, with the community card, you're coming into union with someone. But again, it, there's something very social. Now, it could tell me that you and this person, you know, are going to go out and have fun. And, you know, maybe you do a lot of things socially. Okay, you're not going to be sitting at home, the pathway and occupation. I just really feel like spirit's kind of leading you in this direction because I feel like you're going to see a lot of effort from this person. And I feel this is the new energy. You, I also see here family room. You have mature person, person adjudication. So I get a few messages here. One, I feel like you're going to feel comfortable with this person. You're going to feel safe with this person. They could be older than you with the mature person, whoever this is. Um, I also get here judication. Okay, it's going to be your judgment call. But the judication for me also can be somebody who is divorced. All right, so this could be somebody who has been through 
a divorce. They could even have children here with family room, but I really feel this the family room. Uh, so number 21, which is three, tells me there's some sort of new beginning here with this person. You're going to meet this person, okay? All right, I'm going to um, pull a few more messages with this deck and just see what else you need to know. Thank you, Spirit. What else does Counselor need to know? What else does Counselor need to know? But I feel like Counselor, there's someone coming into your life and you're going to be in commitment with this person. And I feel it's somebody important. I feel um, even could be an Aries. I'm just saying here with this energy up here. Uh, some of you are going to see repeating twos. That's going to be um, a sign for you. I just want to see what other numbers you have. I feel like twos and threes are going to be important is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so if you're seeing signs and synchronicities of twos and threes, okay, you know, repeating twos or repeating threes, this that's going to be a confirmation of this message. Thank you, Spirit. What else does Cancer need to know? Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ten of Swords. Okay, this is what I'm picking up, Cancer. If you have been in heartache over a situation, okay, over a past situation where you feel someone did not treat you right, that's coming to an end, okay? You got justice here, right? So I feel like that is coming to an end about somebody in the past I feel with this tuna to a coin, it could be somebody where it was on and off or it just was not a balanced situation. Somebody I feel in the past too who didn't uh, make you a priority, okay? This is someone I feel with the devil car who was not healthy for you, okay? And it may be too that emotionally you've just felt very unbalanced okay about this person because they have not treated you right but what i'm going to show you the six of swords here tells me that spirit is saying that that situation needed to change that is why the universe is bringing somebody else in for you to help you move on okay with the six of swords energy they're bringing somebody into your life that is things are going to go much smoother than this past situation, okay? And I feel like soon here, you are going to be in a commitment. What else can you share with Cancer? Yep, there it is. Page of coin, new opportunity. Ace of Cups, okay? And the star card. The, there, this opportunity is written all over the place here, Cancer, but... I feel like with the moon card, you're feeling, you may be feeling emotional during this time, and that can also happen too with the new moon, especially when we're releasing things. But look, you have the page of coin and the ace of cups here again. Okay, there's a new opportunity coming in for you very strongly here, Cancer. So Cancer, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you, you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.